Hello, Libra. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the second half of January 2020 Love and Romance Reading. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. All right. Okay, I got cards jumping everywhere. We're starting out with the Lenormand deck by uh, Chiro Marsetti. And I'm going to lay two Celtic spreads, one representing the energies of whichever Scorpio I'm, Scorpio, Libra I'm reading for during this general reading. Thank goodness. Children, shining like the sun, wanting to sweep away from uh, what, what you've received a lot of good attention and recognition for and move into the direction of a change in the area of money. Whichever Libra that was, let's continue. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Libra I'm reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages regarding love and romance during the second half of January 2020. So I'm going to lay one card representing Libra and another card representing another person, place, circumstance, situation. Libra's thoughts, position, and or the other person's thoughts. Foundation for Libra, foundation for the other. Past for Libra, past for the other. Future for Libra, and so on. Wow. Now, on the bottom of the Lenormand deck, and I never have these upside down, but we'll go ahead and go with it. Spirit's saying you may be shining very brightly and happily in your current journey. Good for you, Libra. Sun, moon, or rising, male, female, Venus, Pluto. Um, you no longer need to look for why you shine so brightly in the eyes of others at this time. Whatever makes you proud of you, you're doing a good job, and you're probably going to be feeling that strongly, I feel, throughout the whole second half of January 2020. Yes, you're able now to sweep away from, with the broom or the whip, uh, the signs and synchronicities that spirit was trying to bring you with the compass energy. There's been a lot of devotion here in the area of a playful connection and or a situation involving children. And now we have a Libra who's wanting to meet up and negotiate with others to rise above when it comes to knowledge or experience I'm hearing or negotiation regarding a greater amount of pay in your life. Yes. So this Libra in the second half of January 2020 with the facile or building energies, they're really contemplating success, connecting with a building and organization, uh, but there's maybe seeing it with the mountain energies as a long and difficult path or like you are surpassing uh, a long and difficult journey and can now step into uh, success regarding a building or organization. And Spirit's saying, don't worry about when this is going to come. Hand your worries to Spirit. Say, please bless me when the time is right. Because you've got the uh, clock energies, which is my favorite card in the deck. Spirit guiding you uh, with divine timing into and across the magical bridge into a new direction when the time is right. Beautiful. So when we look at the center card over here representing whichever Libra I'm reading for during this general read, we do have a very blessed karmic soulmate connection. We also may have a Libra who's thinking about a soul connection, a soul direction, doing what they were meant to do, going into the direction of the right connections. The other person, place, circumstance, situation is wanting to Text, talk, tweet, communicate, maybe bring some paperwork to you that you can fill out. This person wants to communicate with you, and you guys feel really strongly about that connection. Now, in the thoughts position of Libra, we do have the snake here. So if you're single and you think someone's a soulmate connection, but you're feeling fearful, you're maybe not sure if you can trust yourself or someone else when it comes to a connection. 
Spirit's saying we'll give you the wishing well energy. So whenever you're ready to spray to pray clearly to spirit about a connection, spirit will be here to help you. So the other person, uh, they have the book energy. So spirit's helping them for them to research the previous chapters of their life, how far they have come, and now what it is they want to create moving forward. And they want to create communication with you, Libra. Now in this book, wow. This is beautiful. It could take until the 25th of January, 2020, where someone's going to come towards you and offer a commitment, partnership, or contract, a new chapter. And that's what this communication is about. And the Libra is kind of like, I am fearful. Therefore, I need to get clear with myself. I feel like the feminines lately are kind of getting what they wanted but didn't really want and now it comes and they're still not sure. So in the recent past, say the first half of January 2020, we have a Libra here who received kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, or invitations to come into partnership. And the other person. Ooh, now this I'm feeling is more of a single person. The other person is feeling burdened because they cannot communicate with you, but they want to. In your future, representing the end of January 2020, Libra, we have you evolving. We have you planting new seeds or being guided to continue to plant new seeds, goals, and intentions. If it's not a new job, uh, a hobby, gift, talent, skill, signing up for a gym, going to a church, finding clarity, and giving thanks to some of you. For you are in the right partnership if this has been a question for you. And this person feels that maybe you have been questioning it, but they, they're ready. So in their future, oh, they're kind of just waiting there, holding the ring and the flower, the rose. Contemplating, we've got the 27th or the 28th. Maybe they offer a commitment on the 25th, and now they're kind of still waiting for an answer. Why? Because we have a Libra who's going through a very spiritual transformation planting seeds and recognizing the future and what they want to create for themselves, especially in the area of love with number seven. For some, if you're single, there's a lot of fantasy and illusion here about someone who's at a distance. So let's clarify by bringing in the Gypsy Oracle deck. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, Whoa, I just saw arrogance. Careful of the ego in yourself or another. We all get tested in the area of ego because the peacock just jumped out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gypsy Oracle deck. Clarification, please, for whichever Libra I'm reading for during this general reading. Spiritual advice. Okay. On the bottom, we have a feminine energy who's being guided with the malady energies to just kind of sit and um, malady, melancholy. Uh, make sure maybe it'd be a good time in the second half of January 2020 to write down and give thanks for the wonderful blessings you have in your life because you do have soul connections here that were meant to be in your life and beautiful messages All right, so we're laying one card for energies representing Libra in mid-January 2020. Thoughts position for Libra and the other. Foundation for Libra and the other. Past for Libra and the other. Future for Libra and the other. Oh, my goodness. So we have a Libra who's kind of waiting on... Moving forward when it comes to wedding energy. Having a conversation or through conversation, there's going to be a surprise. Uh-oh. If there hasn't been already. No, because this is the center. Oh, gosh, when could that be? 
Uh, surprise conversation. Okay. So Libra, by mid-January uh, 2020, we have you kind of healing in some way. Maybe connecting with your soul tribe, your family, your friends, and maybe you're just tired and you're being guided to rest or you've been working really hard. Yes, sighing and contemplating. Snake energies, energies of lies and deceit. Maybe others brought to you in the past. Libra. Now the other person, we have a doctor and paperwork, communication. We have someone who is communicating with you and hopes that they can help you too. It's like come into a deeper connection. They want to come in and help you to be freed of some form of confusion. So it's like you have something you're keeping to yourself in your thoughts and this person kind of knows it, but they're being patient with you. And I feel that with the masculine these days as well. All right, so the other person, they're wanting to move forward. They want to create action with the journey energies involving the next chapter of their life, your life, their life, your lives together. For in your foundation, we have falseness. What am I wishing for as I heal from all that transpired in the past? I've been blessed with reasons to celebrate in the area of home or business. I need to free my mind and recognize that through these arrogant people in my past, it's caused for me to have to heal from my own confusion. Yes. Wow. So we've got the foe in the ring. This person's thinking, I brought this person into my life who has falseness and confusion. But I feel like this person's saying, I don't care. I want to help this person and move forward and heal. So by the end of January 2020, this Libra is going to be given a moment of pause to plant new seeds. It could be that someone comes towards you and offers a commitment of love and you are taking some time to think. But I think for some, you're even starting to make plans right away regarding a celebration. You're pushing beyond energies of falseness tied to the past, to unhealthy thoughts, feelings, connections, people. Now this person in the past felt very burdened and had the energies of misfortune. For some of you, you may be making a change in the area of home and or business and you are starting to celebrate the attention and recognition from this new financial direction. And, and maybe this person feels left out because you're, you're connecting with people whom by which you're meant to at this time. They're maybe feeling left out in the second half of January. So, of course, the message would be to plant seeds of love. Leave little notes. Send kind words during the day. Yeah, because this person still wants to give to you and help you and be there for you. And they're patiently waiting. Some of you may be offered love around the 28th of January. I see the 24th. I see communication on the 27th. I see someone waiting on the 28th. Um. Somebody's recognizing that they brought this upon themselves, but at the same time, they want a new beginning. And we have the Ace of Clubs. And that stood out at me. So for some of you Libras, you may be offered a commitment to move forward with someone who has uh, fire in their chart. Sad Jerry's or Leo. I'm going to clarify this more misfortune energy regarding the other person in the past. 
What is that about? Yeah, someone got an offer in the area of money with the Ace of Coins energy. This is the Game of Thrones deck. And they're very passionate and excited about what they are doing. But for some reason, it leaves the other person, Libra, feeling like they don't have enough. Maybe there's not, there's less date nights because you are taking on a new idea, a new class, a new direction that I do feel you're being guided to do because Spirit's saying with the Fool and the Nine of Coins energies, a new path. Spirit's guiding you to go towards in the area of money, business, career, creativity. You could very well, well, you are going to end up, if you put the effort and the time in with the Nine of Coins energies, great prosperity and contentment and fulfillment so that you can leave behind troubled waters, worries and fears regarding money. Yeah, some of you are dealing with a fire sign here. We have the King of Spears or Wands energies, Sagittarius or Leo, thinking maybe about someone who has Taurus in their chart with the Hierophant. I think this is a new chapter with the Hierophant. This could be about talking to someone about marriage or someone coming towards you with an offer. And we have the Emperor. For some of you, that healing we talked about has to do with leaving behind the Emperor who is represented as the Major Arcana as the Aries or someone who has Aries in their chart. You're now able to leave troubled waters behind and create a new chapter and a new direction of abundance. Beautiful. All right. So to close, I'm going to bring in the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please clarify these messages. For whichever Libra I'm reading for, there's going to be a conversation that's going to bring a great surprise for you, Libra. So the advice here with the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue is to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine once again. Whoops. So again, plant those seeds if you're in a partnership. Find words, messages. If you're talking to someone new and you're single, I think that person is going to make the effort especially towards the end of January 2020. So know that coupled or singled, you have calling in your soulmate. Hand your worries to spirit, remain playful, and trust that spirit will guide you into the right direction with the right one. And especially if you're looking for that new job or the right direction in the area of finance and career, that is what spirit's saying absolutely Go towards. For some of you, you're dealing with someone with the King of Spears or Wands Energy who is in a leadership position who's going to offer you great abundance and independence for some is an important word. Yeah, so give your relationship a chance. You deserve love. Forgive yourself and others and recognize what you've learned. Love yourself in the midst of very strong and magnetic attraction, maybe by the second going into, I'm sorry, the third going into the fourth week of January 2020. For very soon, um, there's going to be time apart. And that could be that someone's traveling or moving into a direction or starting a new job or doing something where they're going to not be with their partner as often in the second half of January 2020. Um, but allow your heart and soul to sing with joy when you get home. Uh, and remain optimistic. Or do you see engagement and wedding? For some of you, you may be just letting go. Look at that. Let go of control when it comes to a past connection. You've learned something in the area of deception, and now you can trust that when you feel those romantic feelings from someone who really loves you, the difference between that and unrequited love. Someone who gives to you in comparison to someone who does not. And why that transpired as a lesson in your life because it rose you it rose you it brought you to a higher spiritual level there's been a lesson here in the area of arrogance right um not causing misfortune or sadness in the life of another because we are walking in energies of falseness because that lesson is over 
for whichever Libra I'm reading for. All right. Wow. I could go on and on. Um, there's a few different energies I felt here. Should these messages resonate for you and you'd like further information about your own personal journey, feel free to write me uh, at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the New Year special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Okay, so thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share and subscribe. Uh, mark that little bell because I don't, I haven't been able to be consistent because of personal issues that are going on in my family. Um, but if you click on that little bell, you'll be notified when I do post uh, the next readings. So thank you so much also to those of you whom have do donated. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. You guys have kept me going. Take care and God bless.